Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Facebook. And special credits to Master Shadid Sir for sharing this wonderful question. So let's start. Here's the question. Solve for the variable x. We have 2 raised to logarithm of x plus x raised to logarithm of 2 equals 32. Take note that the logarithm is in base 10. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video, and if you're ready, here's the solution. First thing to do is to let x equals 10 raised to a. And the question is, why 10 raised to a? Because maybe in our computation, we see this kind of identity. Like for example, logarithm of 10 is equal to 1. Again, we're talking to base 10 in this question. Also, if we have 10 raised to logarithm of n, it is equal to m, hoping that we will use those identities. So, let x equals 10 raised to a. When we substitute x by 10 raised to a, we have 2 raised to logarithm of 10 raised to a plus 10 raised to a raised to logarithm of 2 equals 32. Now, simplify using some properties of logarithm and loss of exponent. So, if we have logarithm of b raised to n, it is equal to n multiplied by the logarithm of b. Also, if we have b raised to n raised to m, it is equal to b raised to n times m. Using those properties, we have 2 raised to a multiplied by the logarithm of 10 plus 10 raised to a multiplied by the logarithm of 2 equals 32. Now notice this a multiplied by the logarithm of 2. It can be written as log of 2 raised to a. Now notice that we have logarithm of 10. Since it is in base 10, logarithm of 10 is equal to 1. So we have 2 raised to a multiplied by 1 or simply 2 raised to a plus in this term, we will use the second identity, says that 10 raised to logarithm of n equals n. It follows that 10 raised to logarithm of 2 raised to a must be equal to 2 raised to a. Bring down 32. So we have 2 raised to a plus 2 raised to a equals 32. Now, simplify. 2 raised to a plus 2 raised to a will give us 2 multiplied by 2 raised to a equals 32. Divide both sides by 2, we have 2 raised to a equals 16. Now, take note that 16 is equal to 2 raised to 4. So, we have 2 raised to a equals 2 raised to 4. It follows that a is equal to 4. Now, we got the value of a, but we want the value of x. Don't forget that x equals 10 raised to a. Therefore, x is equal to 10 raised to 4, or simply x equals 10,000. And we're done.